Hello viewers, welcome to Gunny SK YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create startup bar for footings in tech class structures. In my previous tutorial, I have explained how to create concrete column with reinforcement and footing with reinforcement. Please go to my channel and watch it. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create startup bar for footings in tech class structures. Okay, let's start. Open your tech class structures with US environment. Now we're going to create column, concrete column. So click on concrete and select this column and pick the position to create the column at here. Right click on mouse interrupt. Now we're going to edit this column. So double click on this column. Now we're going to change the profile for this column. So click on here. Well, currently we have the width and length uh, 36 inches so let's take 24 inches length height and width then click on apply ok click on modify to see the result here okay now our column size has been changed now close here now uh, for reinforcement for this column i have explained in my previous tutorial please go to my channel and watch it now we're going to create the footing at here so click on here under footing option select this pad footing and pick the position at here to create the pad footing like this right click on mouse interrupt uh, reinforcement for this pad footing i have explained in my previous tutorial please go to my channel and watch it in this tutorial i am going to explain about startup bar so click on here application components in search bar type number 87 component number 87 click on here show hidden items now you will get this uh, component startup bar for footings 87 select this component now pick the footing to create the startup bar okay now startup bars are created here now close this window right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse view. so you can see now here the start by default startup bars and stirrups here like this to edit this startup bars, double click on this reinforcement. Now you will get this window like this. You can see the uh, this option for corner stirrups like this blue color indicates this uh, corner stirrups. And this indicates the sidebars. You can see this color indicates the sidebars. And uh, this stirrups indicates this stirrups. Okay. Now we're going to change this corner stirrups. So currently we have the size six. Now click on here. Let's take size nine. Then click on OK. Select this bars and click on modify to see the result. You can see now size increased. Similarly, you can change this one also. For example, click on here select size 9 then click on ok now select this bars then click on modify to see the result you can see now this size also increased okay for this size now stirrups then click on here let's take size 6 then click on ok now select this reinforcement then click on modify to see the result you can see now this size also increased okay now we're going to see these options Now you can see this two feet six inches indicates the top of footing to top of this reinforcement bars reinforcement okay now we're going to change this height let's take two feet two inches now select this bars then click on modify to see the result you can see now the length has reduced okay now we're coming to this one now you can increase the length of this band uh, bar for example, currently we have the one feet. Uh, let's take one feet four inches, then click on modify to see the result. Select this bar, then click on modify to see the result. You can see now length also increased. Now coming to this stirrups. This number two indicates the number of stirrups in in this uh, startup bar. Uh, let's take 
three stirrups. Now we're going to change the spacing also. Let's click five inch, then click on mod fit to see the result. You can see. Now we have the three number of stirrups with the spacing five inches. If you want to increase the stirrups, you can increase from here. Let's take four, then click on mod fit to see the result. You can see. Now we have the four stirrups like this. You can maintain the uh, stirrup height, first stirrup height from the top of the footing to here uh, from this option. Currently we have the two inches. You can increase the uh, length. You can increase here for let's check three inches spacing. Then click on select this uh, reinforcement. Click on modify to see the result. You can see now this spacing should be three inches. Okay. Now click on this bottom cover. Uh, from this bottom cover, you can maintain the startup bar edge to top of the uh, bottom of this footing and this spacing. For example, currently uh, by default we have the four inches. If you want to uh, reduce this size, you can reduce. Let's take three inches, then select this reinforcement, then click on modify to see see the result. You can see now the the spacing should be three inches. Similarly, you can change as per your requirement. Now, click on this location. From this tab, you can maintain the column size. For example, we have taken this uh, length and uh, height and width of this uh, column, two feet, two feet. So we need to maintain here two feet. Uh, this indicates the column size. By default, we have the one feet, eight inches, but you need to take two feet according to this size, column size. So let's take here two feet and here also two feet. Now go change this view. Let's take Control P to get the plan for this 3D view like this. Now we have taken here two feet column size. Then select this reinforcement. Click on Mod Fit to see the result. You can see now we have the cover uh, distance is the two inches. It indicates here picture. You can see currently we have the uh, column two. This uh, start stirrups so, uh, spacing is the one inch for example we're going to take two inches let's take here two then select this one then click on modify to see the result you can see now we have the two inches similarly you can change here let's take one inch then click on modify you can see now this spacing should be one inch you should change here the co uh, so column size otherwise you won't get these uh, values correctly so we need to maintain here two feet according to the column size Okay, that's it about how to maintain these stirrups. Use the control P to get the review like this. Then click on select this reinforcement and then click on modify apply. Okay, okay, that's it about how to create stirrups for these footings in Tecla structures. If you have any doubts, please comment below. If you like this video, please like it and share it. For more Tecla structure related videos, please go to my channel youtube.com slash SK. I will provide this link in the description below of this video. Please go through it and come here. Please click on subscribe button. If you subscribe, you will get notification or updates when uploading a new video. So please click on subscribe. Okay, thank you.